Why is Sita Tapatra, Dukar, or White Umbrella Tara, considered the most protective of all the Buddhist enlightened deities? Which of the 21 Taras is Sita Tapatra, also known as Dukar? Why does Sita Tapatra sometimes have two arms, and sometimes 1,000 arms, but always with the protective umbrella? What are her mantras and Dharanis? We answer these questions and more, in this short introduction to the glorious Buddhist goddess of protection. Before we begin, if you enjoy this presentation, please like and subscribe to the Buddha Weekly channel, and turn on notifications. For more in-depth features and videos, see the links at the information icon in this video. Don't miss our feature content at BuddhaWeekly.com with over 1,000 feature articles, videos, and podcasts. Don't let the serene look of white Sita Dapatra confuse you. Sita Dapatra is the ultimate protective form of Mother Tara. She can be as simple as a beautiful white goddess bearing a protective parasol umbrella or as ferocious as a towering deity with 1,000 heads, 1,000 arms, and countless all-seeing eyes. Regardless of her emanation, two arms or 1,000, she always holds her vast protective parasol, a symbol of impenetrable protection, and a dharma wheel in her right hand, to show us that the eightfold path of the Buddha is all the protection anyone would need. Sita Dapatra is also Tara, a form of Sita Tara, White Tara. Among the 21 Taras, in the Nyingma Terma tradition, she is the 19th Tara. Tara who is unconquerable and victorious. She is a Mahayana Bodhisattva from Sutra, as well as a Vajrayana deity, and is the ultimate protection against any form of danger, obstruction, and especially any supernormal or supernatural threats. Whether she is visualized in her form with 1,000 arms and heads, or two arms, she is known as the undefeatable one. As a sutra practice, a teaching spoken by the Buddha, these powerful protective mantras and practices are suitable for everyone, and are very popular in many traditions of Mahayana Buddhism. In the Root Sutra, the vastly profound Shorangama Sutra, Sita Tapatra originates as an emanation from Shakyamuni Buddha's divine Ashnaisha protuberance, born from the profound Samadhi of the Buddha himself. According to the Root Sutra, her practice, and especially her mantra, will protect us from all harm, including supernatural threats, and ensures we will be born in Sukhavati, the western pure land of Amitabha. Her sutra practice is also for healing illness, dispelling interferences and spirit possession, quelling disasters, and bringing auspiciousness according to the late great teacher Lama Thubten Zopa Rinpoche. Her practice is considered a complete practice, because of the emphasis on samadhi, or meditation, and on embracing the noble eightfold path of Shakyamuni Buddha, and the conduct of virtuous living. Her benefits are summarized in her praise. I salute you, exalted one, only mother of all the Buddhas, past, present, and future. Your glory pervades the three worlds, homage to you, savior us from the evil influence of demons, and planets, obstacles and negativities, from untimely death and evil dreams, from the dangers of poison, arms, fire, and water. The mandala of your being is exceedingly vast, you have a thousand heads full of innumerable mind states, a thousand hands holding flaming attributes, queen of all the mandalas of the three worlds, ever-present taming the evil ones, I salute you, goddess of protection and magic, turning demons into dust. In addition to various sutras, Sita Tapatra appears in some of Buddha's previous life tales, known as Jatakas, the Mahanmaga Jataka, or the life of Shakyamuni as Prince Mahasada, 
and the Muga Paka Jataka. The easiest way to practice and invoke her protection is to chant her mantras. There is a short heart mantra, a medium-sized dharani, a longer dharani and a full heart dharani. There is also the mantra of the 19th Tara of the 21 Taras. Her mantra is especially powerful for protection, healing and blessings. Sutra mantras require no empowerments, since the empowerment comes directly from Shakyamuni Buddha to us, directly into our hearts. Her simplest mantra, according to the sutra, is simply. Hum ma ma hum nisvaha, hum ma ma hum nisvaha, hum ma ma hum nisvaha. For proper pronunciation of the Sanskrit, watch for our mantra chanting video, releasing soon. When it releases, you'll find it on the Buddha Weekly YouTube channel, and it will be linked in the information icon above. The most common mantra, slightly longer, here repeated three times, is Om Sava Tata Gata Ushnisha Sitata Patra Hum Pat Hum Ma Ma Hum Nisvaha Om Sava Tata Gata Ushnisha Sitata Patra Hum Pat Hum Ma Ma Hum Nisvaha Om Sava Tata Gata Ushnisha Sitata Patra Hum Pat Hum Ma Ma Hum Nisvaha it is helpful to visualize her when chanting her mantra. The only requirement for chanting her mantra, as always, is to do so with the bodhicitta intention, the goal of attaining enlightenment so that we can help all sentient beings. Her most common appearance is also her most complex one, in the sense that her 1000 armed form is the most popular meditational visualized form. In this popular form, she also has 1,000 eyes in her hands, and 1,000 faces with three eyes each, 200 faces in each of the five activity colors. The symbolic activity colors in Buddhism are white for pacifying, red for power, green for compassionate activities, blue for wrathful activities, yellow for auspiciousness and good fortune. Since her practice encompasses all five of these, she has 200 faces in each color. Less common, albeit easier to visualize, is her two-armed form holding only the parasol and wheel of dharma, usually but not always, depicted with eyes in her hands and feet and the center of her forehead, revealing her as none other than an aspect of white tara with seven eyes. Or, if you practice the 21 taras every day, as recommended by many Buddhist teachers, you are already practicing Sita Tapatra as the 19th Tara. In this form, she is white with two arms, holding a blue uptala or lotus flower on top of which is her parasol umbrella. As always, when you practice, even just the mantra, always start by taking refuge in the three jewels with bodhicitta intention and end with a dedication of the merit for the benefit of all sentient beings. This compassionate refuge and dedication is what makes this an effective Mahayana Buddhist practice. The most popular praise to the White Umbrella Deity includes both, and is highly recommended. The short form is The Supreme Crown of all Buddhas Manifest on the clouds in the heavens The powerful and liberated White Parasol Deity I prostrate to the Three Jewels May my practice of the White Parasol Deity speedily accumulate the invincible dharma light, shielding all beings and subjugating all maras. Together, may we all soar to the Buddha lands. Please consider supporting our dharma mission, our mantra music project and our videos by becoming a supporting patron on Patreon at patreon.com slash buddhaweekly or as a supporting member at buddhaweekly.com slash support. Buddha Weekly, helping to spread the Dharma. Thank you.